So I have another haul for you guys, but this time it's an estate sale haul. I've been to two estate sales recently and I got a few items so I thought I'd show you guys. And I also am going to show you guys some things that I've thrifted recently as well, just like, you know, for funsies, the two-in-one. But I hope you guys enjoy. So the first item I got from the first estate sale is this authentic democratic ticket from 1940 that has FDR on it. I'm not a big political person, but I do like to collect presidential memorabilia. The next item I got were these salt and pepper shakers, and if you don't know me, I collect salt and pepper shakers, and I thought these would be really cool to add to my collection. So the next item I got was just this Art Deco compact, and it's by Elgin American, and this was actually the priciest item I got from this estate sale. It was $10, but Granted, it is from the 1920s, so I understand why it was so expensive. I even asked the lady if she will go down, and she said no. So, but this one actually had some makeup in it. I mean, it was falling apart, but the blush was in prime condition. I would never use it, but it's a pretty color. Then I got a few purses for $3 each. I got this Made in France wallboard purse, and I actually looked these up online, and they're kind of pricey, so I'm pretty excited I got this only for three dollars but yeah I thought it was a really pretty purse very grandma-esque the next purse doesn't have a brand but I just really liked the style of it and I really loved the handle and how the clasp went but it's kind of cracking in some areas and I'm not sure how to fix that if you guys have any suggestions let me know because I actually would like to use this bag but as of now I don't want to use it because I don't want to make the cracks worse so let me know <laughs> the next item I got was this book games pastimes and amusements is actually from 1906 so it's kind of falling apart it's not in the greatest condition but I was really captivated by it and I only got it for two dollars and usually whenever I get books like this I always like to think like oh who read it, what games did they get from it, what little kid really likes this book and it has some really cool drawings on the inside and I just really like this book. I wish I can read it but I think all I can do with it really is to decorate with it. <laughs> Now we're moving on to the second estate sale I went to. I just got these two mugs. This clown one that says Beverly. I love clowns, so I obviously had to get it. And this other Bryce Canyon mug that's vintage that says Gordon on it. At the estate sale I went to, the lady had a bunch of vintage shoes. I wanted to literally buy all of them, but I just got one pair, my favorite pair, which were these yellow ones. I thought they were from like the 60s just based off of the design, but they heel threw me off. But then I was thinking maybe they're from the 50s and then I asked my mom and she thinks they're from the 20s, which I don't think is right because the heel would be a lot thicker. So um, let me know what era you think these shoes are from. The brand is called Mannequin, so if I looked it up online, all I got were just, you know, pictures of mannequins. <laughs> Also got this radio clock I've been really wanting one of these and this one's just by the brand Philco I actually found this in the garage of the place and it was covered in dust like no one has touched it in years so I thought I'd get it give it a new life then I got this book scouting for girls I've always wanted to be a Girl Scout never got to be but I got it and this book is actually from the 1920s I actually started reading some of it and I also want to show you guys the uniforms they wore because I'm dying at how cute they are. <laughs> then I got this vintage dress. This dress is like super sheer and I couldn't figure out like what era this dress is from. My mom wanted to say 70s. I wasn't quite entirely sure when it was from. I have to wear a slip when I wear it though. Um, if you guys know what era this dress would be from, let me know because I would like to know because I wasn't sure. I was kind of stumped and I, yeah. This item I actually got from an antique store. It's just a 1990s bandana that says Budweiser on it. I really liked it and I wanted to get it. It was a little pricey, 
but I think it was worth it. Also, someone asked me to put the prices down in the description box, and that's what I did for all these items. I also got this item from the antique store. It's just a pennant that says Raywood, California. I got it mainly because that is where my boyfriend and I met, so yes. Now these next few items I actually got from the thrift store. I just got this vintage Dooney Burke wallet. I do know how to figure out if Dooney and Burke is real or not, but I just don't know how to figure out anything else. But that's because I looked up Dooney and Burke all the time. So yeah, this is real. So I've been really into puzzles lately. I got this rainbow bright puzzle from the early 80s. And I was really surprised that I had all the pieces. I was really excited because I was really afraid it wouldn't have all the pieces, but it does. And I need more puzzles now because I've done this puzzle like five times already. Then I've been wanting to get some vintage sewing patterns, which I found some. Two are from like the 70s and one is from, I'm not sure what era it's from, but I've been really wanting to make some vintage clothes. So I got some old sewing patterns. If I don't make the clothes, I can always frame these things because I thought they were really cool. So I found these vintage black lace-up boots that look like Justin boots. They're not Justin boots. I'm not sure what brand they are, but yeah. Also, I was really confused because on one of my older videos, someone told me that these are riding boots, but whenever I look up these boots, they're always called like Justin Roper lace-up boots or just lace-up boots. Even Ariat doesn't call them riding boots. They're like lace-up boots or ankle boots. So, yeah. Then I found these pair of 550 Levi pants. These are actually made in Canada, which I thought was kind of cool. But um, because I've never seen any Levi's that say made in Canada, but they fit me really nice, so I got them. Then I got this 90s bathing suit top, which can also be like just a shirt, basically. <laughs> but I really liked this bathing suit top, it was really cute, and I really liked the bandana type vibe that I was going with. I also found another vintage Disney item. This is just a Pooh Bear one. That is a dress that's like Kingdom and it's super cute and has Pooh Bear and Piglet in the front. And I really liked it. It is big on me so I do have to wear one of those dress cinches. But I'm really excited to wear this during summertime, which it is now. Last item I got was just this cedar jewelry box. I mainly got it because it reminded me of this oriental carved chest that is made out of cedar that my dad has. He's had it ever since he was really young and it just reminded me of that a lot. So that's why I got this. And I remember it ever since I was little, that chest. And it was always gorgeous and intricately carved. So that's why I got this. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what was your favorite item that I got and